So this motor has a bit of like throttle controls and all kinds of metal that's on it, which I'm just removing right now. That's why it looks like this. But if you notice here on the magneto, which is right here, this is what sends a spark into, this is what triggers this uh, spark plug to fire every time this magnet passes. So what you need to do is, is always on er, almost every um, one of these coils, there's one of these little tabs. And whenever you take a piece of like metal, like a piece of wire, you touch that to there and then touch the other side of the metal to this engine, it will cut off the engine. So using that principle, you can basically just put uh, a switch connecting from here to the engine and whenever it, it's on, so whenever the, the circuit is connected, it will cut off the engine and, or the engine won't start. But whenever it's off, so whenever the switch is turned to the off position, they will be disconnected and this is not touching the metal on the engine, so it's not touching here or here or anywhere on the engine and the engine will run. So that's essentially how a kill switch works on these motors. For example, if I was running this engine right now, if I grabbed my little pliers right here, touched it to the metal, and then touched the other side to this in engine block, it will shut off. That's just how it's made. And uh, yeah, it's a really good feature. And if you want to run a kill switch or a key switch, use that basic principle and you can figure out uh, how to do it. So that's it for today's video on the principle of a kill switch and how to install one. Um, if, you, if this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Alright, peace out guys.